Over the next few weeks, I'll be doing introduction videos on the PILS small configurable controller, the PNAS Multi. I'll concentrate on the MB0 and the MB1 and show how the controller can be easily configured. The MB0 is for smaller projects with 20 inputs and 4 outputs as standard on the base unit. It can be easily expanded by adding up to 6 I.O. modules to the right with communication and link modules to the left. The MB1 is for larger projects. This can be expanded with up to 12 I.O. modules to the right with communication and link modules to the left. The PNAS Multi Configurator software version 10.11.0 is the latest software for these controllers. It is free to download from the PILS website. I'm going to start with a simple introduction into the PNAS Multi Configurator. The configurator tool can be used to spec the exact hardware you need for each project, whether it's extra input modules, output modules, or communication modules. The configurator tool makes choosing the correct module much easier. Once you launch the PNAS Multi Configurator, you will have all the different base units along the left hand side, all with slightly different functionality. I'm going to concentrate on the MB1. So simply drag and drop it to the center of the screen. More units become available. And these units are specific to this base unit, so they're all like different expansion modules, whether it's communication or input or output. I'm going to add 16 digital inputs, and I'm also going to add a relay output card, which is a 40i, 40r, simply drag and drop to the middle of the screen. I also want to add a communication module, and I'm going to select this Profi bus. I've now built a very simple hardware configuration, and each device that I've chosen, products number is down here on the left hand side, so choosing your, the exact product is much easier. I'm going to do these videos about the PNAS Multi over the next few weeks, so if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments below.